What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Little Jumpin'. And for all y'all that want a piece of One Piece, welcome to Wano Piece. Haters get mad when I Luffy, boss up, who's he? Haters get mad when I Sanji, kicking it like Jet Li. Haters get mad when I Nami, that money come find me. Haters get mad when I Zoro, cut checks like Koro. Before we even start this video, I want to give a shout out to the Wano Piece Power Crew. Hit that subscribe button below. Do it! Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Wano underscore Peace for Wano Peace memes, Wano Peace channel updates, One Piece cosplay, and One Piece fan art. Or anything One Piece related that you want the people to see, DM me and I'll shout you out. This week we are recapping chapters 451 through 460. All right, so when we last left, left off, when we last left off, we had found out that there was Lola, this warthog zombie, and she really wants to marry Absalom. Absalom is the guy that can turn invisible, that just keeps popping up. He saw Nami in the shower, a little weirdo. Lola is headed to take out Nami because she wants to marry Absalom. We switch back to Usopp, Nami, and Chopper. They were being carried in a coffin by the Squirrel Key Brothers. They were taking this coffin and eventually they dropped the coffin. When they dropped the coffin, Chopper woke up. Now when Chopper woke up, he got, he like defeated them real quickly, but they ran and said they were gonna go get help. Usopp woke up and Nami woke up. Now, the samurai that sliced them used the back of his blades. He didn't kill them on purpose. Or at least I think it was on purpose. But he just used his blades to knock them out. What we find out is they are trying to take the shadows from people in order to put them in the zombies. So the shadow is another soul. And it's a soul that's supposed to stay with you until you die. Now Gecko Moria can take your other take the shadow and Put that soul into a zombie and control it. The shadow is as strong as you are. So let's say, so what they do is they end up catching Luffy and they take Luffy's shadow. Luffy's shadow is strong because Luffy is strong. They put his shadow into a zombie who is super strong and that's a combination. So the stronger the zombie and the stronger the shadow, the stronger the final combination will be. So there's a penguin zombie trio. They bring um the wild zombies all these zombies look like animals and they're under perona's rule this all happens at perona's wonder garden the zombies attack them they beat up usopp and chopper and just before they take out nami this dog-faced penguin zombie knocks like just starts protecting her protecting her he knocks a few of the zombies away he starts protecting nami like he starts talking about chivalry so what we come to realize is this is possibly or more than likely the zombie that has Sanji's shadow because he acts just like Sanji. He uses kicks and um, he also is very, very chivalrous. And at the same time, when Lola catches up to Nami, he stops Lola from attacking Nami, but doesn't fight Lola because no matter what, he won't hit a woman. That's how they figure out that that must be the zombie that has Sanji's shadow. So we find out that the reason Zoro and Sanji disappeared, it wasn't like they were planning some top secret thing. It's actually that they were captured by the spider mice. Now, after Zoro gets, gets captured, Luffy, Frankie, and Robin find a hall. This hall is kind of more like an arena, and this is where the general zombies attack them. Frankie and Nico Robin get away from the general zombies, but Luffy gets captured. Luffy gets captured, and this is how they end up getting Luffy's shadow from him. When they take your shadow from you, you faint like instantly and you're not supposed to wake up for two days. The general zombies are so strong. <coughs> Excuse me. The general zombies are so strong because they are a combination of zombie and great warriors of the past. Excuse me. They're a combination of zombie and great warriors of the past. So they already have the body of the great warriors and then they get a shadow of someone else who also has a good fighting style. So Robin and Frankie get trapped between general zombies on one side and a giant spider monkey on the other side. This spider monkey is in charge of the spider mice. He sends them out, it's about 500 spider mice and those are the ones that were able to capture Sanji and Zoro without them knowing. Um, 
Now, Frankie blasts the bridge that they're on and breaks it in order to get away from them. Now, when they do this, they see Brooke fall down. Now, when Brooke falls down, he actually ends up saving Frankie and Robin from the spider monkey because he uses salt to purify the zombie and take the soul out of him. So the zombie's weakness is salt. Uh, if you ever watch any like ghost shows, ghost movies, or anything with like paranormal activity, rock salt defeats spirits. So I guess that's where they're getting this from. So salt, if the zombies eat salt, they're, uh, the shadow goes back to whatever human it is. The human, they try and keep the human alive, whose shadow it is, because once that human dies, that zombie also dies. Now, we switch back over. Nami gets caught. Lola catches up to Nami, and just before she takes her out, Nami's like, yo, wait, I'm a guy. So this kind of throws Lola off for a loop. She's like, oh, Absalom's not gonna marry a guy. And Nami's like, yeah, exactly. And also, you are, you and Absalom will make a great couple. And then she gives her a whole plan on how she should get Absalom to marry her. So now she goes and chases Absalom, and she also gives Nami and the others the location of the treasure room. Now we find out that Brooke drifted to Thriller Bark five years before. When he came back, he tried to figure out a way to defeat the zombies. He eventually found out a way because some zombie accidentally ate some salted fish. And that's how he figured out that the zombies' uh, weakness was salt. He, he faced off against himself the samurai is actually um, Brook, Brook Shadow. So that's why they're so good. And he's also a samurai. That's what makes him a little bit better than Brook. Brook has been training for five years. So Brook ends up facing off against this zombie. But the five years before, he had lost a battle against the zombie. And the zombie left his afro because, you know, Brook begged him to. Brook didn't want to lose his afro because if he loses his afro, you know, he can't grow it back because his body already stopped growing because he doesn't have a body. Now, Gekko Moria mentions losing a battle against Kaidu in the New World. If I'm correct, that's one of the admirals. I'm almost positive. Let me know in the comments below who Kaidu is and what he had to do with Gekko Moria. Gekko Moria is trying to build a zombie army in order to go, go back out on the sea and, you know, do bad things. If you notice, all the Shichibukai are all trying to control something. So, what's his name? Crocodile was trying to control Alabasta. So he's pretending to be this good guy, and then, you know, he's sanctioned by the government, but he's also trying to do, take over a whole country. This is the same thing Gekko Mori is doing. He's trying to be a Shichibukai. He's a Shichibukai right now, and he's causing ships to disappear, and they're allowing him to do that, but he also has bigger plans to come back and try and take over, who knows, probably the world with a whole zombie army. Now, Frankie asked Brooke a question, right? And this question is a big question. He asked him like, yo, why didn't you just give up? You know what I mean? You don't have a body, you don't have your shadow, you couldn't get your shadow. Uh, why didn't you just give up a long time ago? And Brooke's answer was he promised Laboon the Well from way back in the beginning of the series when he first hit the Grand Line. He promised Laboon the well that they'd be back. The only reason they weren't back is because they were tricked into going into Thriller Bark. So now, Brook, his goal is to get back to Laboon because he made a promise to Laboon that he would be back. The story's coming full circle, y'all. So, zombie number 900, aka Oz, was once known as the devil himself. Oz was arrested in one country and eventually took over that country and made it a town full of just outlaws. Now, they did this thing where the zombie wasn't supposed to remember anything, like just erase his mind. But Luffy's will is so strong that it kept shining through. The first thing the zombie said is like, meat, I'm hungry, Sanji, food. So I'm excited to see when, what else the zombie's gonna remember. Uh, he has the same attacks as Luffy because when you get that person's shadow, you also get their fighting style. Um, he also still wants to be the Pirate King. So he's not even listening to Gekko Moria at this point. He doesn't care what he's talking about. He's like, no, I'm going to be the Pirate King. 
He said, oh snap, he went, he climbed to the top of Thriller Bark and realized that it was a ship. He was like, okay, I'm gonna take this ship and go become the pirate. He also said he won't listen to Gekko Moria because he has a dream and also he wants to start a revolution in the world. So I believe like starting a revolution in the world is a, uh, is a subconscious thought that came out through this zombie that Luffy has. He wants to start a revolution in the world just like his father, Dragon. Okay, so Absalom captures Nami and then turns invisible, turns Nami invisible and gets away. Um, everyone else makes it back to the ship because they heard that that's where they were gonna drop off the ship. Because what they do is they drop you off on your ship and just let you wander forever um, so that way they can keep you alive, right? I really think they should have just kept you as a prisoner instead. That seems to make more sense, but I guess not. Uh, so they put them back on the Thousand Sunny. So everyone meets back up on the Thousand Sunny and Usopp wakes them up. He says, there's a beautiful girl, a beautiful swordsman with uh, food or meat. And they all wake up because you know Sanji loves beautiful women Zoros loves swords, and um, Luffy's always ready to eat. So they wake up instantly. They don't have to wait two days, which is clutch, because imagine what they wouldn't do with their three main heavy hitters for two days. Now, before they head back over to Thriller Bark or back off the ship, you go, I noticed that Sanji just keeps turning into fire, mainly because he's so pissed about what happened to Nami. But it's cool to see that Sanji has his firepower and he can just use it at any point. Alright, so they attack the zombies, they're putting a whooping they're putting a whooping on the zombies, and their attacks derail because Perona sends the ghosts. The ghosts makes make them sad and cause them to not want to fight. So they grab Luffy and Sanji and run out of there really quickly in order to regroup and come up with a new plan. Just before they kind of get away. Oz jumps from the top of the ship and lands and breaks this whole area that they're at and causes everybody to flaw and get separated. Now, Oz is in the middle of the battle scene. We'll have to find out next time what happens. So be sure to watch the next video. Let me catch you up on the short comics. Okay, so Professor Tsukimi sees the moon explode. When the moon explodes, it causes him to have a heart attack or something, but he dies, right? Because he loves looking at the moon, he sees it explode, it catches him off guard, and he dies. So, the people, you know, Lieutenant Junior Space, Junior Lieutenant Spacey, they uh, put, they bury him, and then they take balloons and float all the way to the moon. Because that is how it would really happen, right? But it's the Grand Line. Anything could happen in the Grand Line. They float up to the moon. They, trying to get, they are trying to get revenge for what happened to the professor. They see the space pirates. The space pirates put the whooping on these guys instantly, very easy. And at that moment, a nail comes down. And then you know the story from last time. They did something to Anel's arc. And when they did that, it pissed Anel off. So he destroyed, like he really defeated all the space pirates at once. So. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what were your favorite part. What was your... If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of these 10 chapters. We can have a whole conversation about it in the comments. I'll comment back. Now, the Grand Line is a rough place, as we all know. You're going to need a tough pirate crew to get through it. Why not join the Wano Peace Pirate Crew? Hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this one. Peace.